I'm here fulfilling a lifelong dream. Put in a pump of engineer 775. And she's afloat right up on out of there. See how we pump water here, Johnny? She just She's wanting to come out. She's trying to come out. I gotta, we're gonna have to hook it to the Honda and pump fill you, this with. You want me to hot wire the Honda? We're gonna hot wire the Honda and put some water in this thing because we're just fighting it. A little too much air in the pump stack. Thanks, man. The drop pot. <laughs> <laughs> that air's got too much, too much air in the drop pipe. All right, too much air on this video. Let's get this thing pumping. Where, where's my guy? All right, here we go. He's defying all safety protocols. Hot wiring it straight to the Honda. Just gonna stab it in there. Yep, he is. Are you on a Phillips head, Mom? <laughs> what is I? What do I got in my hand? Sorry, a sorry one. This this pump runs off straight 120, which is real nice. 96 to 265. AC or DC, right? No, um, that's on the AC. On the DC, it's uh, 330 to 300. But the sweet spot on the DC side is 120 volts. What's the, the pump. Sweet, what's sweet spot on the AC side? I don't know. I think it's still 120 right? volts. Loves 120 volt. Got this a, is safe. We're not sure if it's an Archimedes screw. Look at that. That is safe. <laughs> Go ahead and just crank right, it up now, full load. No, what we want. Now, because this thing's going to drop. It's going to drop like it's hot? Yeah. No, we can't do that. What about the water coming out right here? It's, you're lifting it right out of the stop. Drop. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we just take that up, but I mean, you're lifting it up. You want me to hold on to it when it starts dropping here? She's going to fill with water and be heavy as can be. All right. Yeah. simple pumps but I don't know how many submersibles. Did I break your camera? No. You're just plumbing, plumbing hard. Stack. What do you call that? Pop head? What's nice about it is the simple pump cap allows you to have the wires, safety rope, you can also disinfect through this port, your hand pump, and your submersible pump. We could have hung this on inch, one inch pipe, we'd, might, we could do inch and a quarter, this is what we did. So we have plenty of Line. That's uh, oh. high pressure, right? 120 psi or 200? That is 200 psi drop plate. Yeah. Yeah. Would have had to cut the ceiling out if we'd have. Air is still holding one. that thing up. Always a dream of mine. You know when I when worked at First Solar Company, I'd call around and see and hit the starter well pump, the deep well pump. Who could start a deep well pump? How can you run a deep well pump yeah. off solar? Where did you find? Nobody. Nobody nope. knew anything. Nobody knew. That it. was. Nobody knew how to do it. But you figured it out with the magnums. No, I figured it out. I just got on a YouTube page and stole everything you ever did. <laughs> so now we got the plumbing. The electrical's done for the 
Going this pump. We're getting ready to put the uh, simple pump in. What would you call this? Got us a tube of pump drop pipe. Those are drop pipes. They're nice. nine foot each. And we have our five gallon a minute pump cylinder here, stainless steel pump cylinder. It's got a three quarter inch stainless ball check valve in the bottom. And then there's a piston. Piston's right about here that has the same ball in it. So it's just a double check. Very simple, been around forever. Everything's threaded. All you need simple tools to put the entire pump together. It's very easy, very nice. Goodies. How many simple pumps have you installed? Way over 300, believe it or not. I don't know. I thought I was at 350. I'd have to call Simple Pump up and see. Kind of slacked off a little bit lately, but now it's picked back up. Pretty last week. They're they're uh, just a very well made product made in the United States, and um, so kind of it's nice to be able to do one, and then I get to meet the customer and we get to talk about everything else. Generators and solar. That's where we bring Johnny Valentine in the picture after we put a simple pump in. So it's a great get on site, check the place out, do a solar site evaluation, evaluate. Because usually folks have a lot of other questions once you get there and get to meet them. They put a Most horse, well guys put a one horsepower or horse and a half pump on a 10 gallon dumb bladder tank. And so that pump is just cycling. It's a real fast cycle. It's ridiculous. On and off, on and off. This thing used 400 watts to pump 50 gallons of water to 60 psi. We've been we've been blasting out the water here. A lot of water there. Yeah. You hold that. I just want to know if there's a hiccup at the when they adjust the slider tank. Dialing in the pressure switch. We closed. We still got pressure. We oop, lost oop, it. Oop, so we need to dial it in. Now it's coming back. Yeah, we gotta dial that pressure switch in. You gonna dial in the switch or dial in the bladder tank? Right. So it's about it's about night time, end of a fruitful day. Installing this uh, simple pump, backup water pump, and uh, then we put that put in a Grunfus deep well pump, and uh, she's ready to give water any way she needs to. So run the pump off solar electricity or pump it by hand.